Why would international high demand workers want to stay in this facility when, according to you, not even those suffering from WA's housing crisis would stay for even five minutes? To, to say to um, homeless people, you must go and live in a facility 40 minutes from the city without any wraparound services in the middle of the bush um, where you, 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 you don't have uh, contact with other people who might be in a similar circumstance to you uh, is unwise and wouldn't work. Premier, I refer to comments you made yesterday as you dismissed using the Bullsbrook quarantine facility to house homeless Western Australians in need, where you said it won't work, people won't stay there, they'll leave, and, if, and it would last five minutes for those purposes. And I ask, why would international high demand workers want to stay in this facility when, according to you, not even those suffering from WA's housing crisis would stay for even five minutes? Uh, if I can just explain Premium. the situation. Um, the, uh, the facility itself uh, was commissioned and, uh, uh, and put in place by the last Liberal National Government federally. Uh, and so they made a commitment, uh, I think it was perhaps late 2020, early 2021, towards these purposes uh, and uh, started a process. They looked for various sites around the, around the place. One was at Chandicott, one was out at Bullsbrook, uh, all of these sorts of things. And I, I said, well, if you want to build a facility, a quarantine facility in Western Australia and spend two or three hundred million dollars, that's up to you. But we would welcome it if that's what you want to do. Uh, we have committed to operating it for one year. Uh, on the basis that that was the agreement with the former federal government and they spent two or 250 or 300 million dollars, which obviously created huge jobs and opportunities for many people and apprenticeships and a great uh, company, Multiplex, West Australian company, uh, has undertaken the construction. It hasn't actually finished yet. Uh, it's, still, uh, it's still got some commissioning processes to go before such time as it's finished. That's the circumstances. The site that was selected was out in Bullsbrook, um, what's that, 40 or so minutes from the city uh, in, uh, in bushland near uh, the rack base. As part of that process, we got uh, some upgrades to the water out there from the Commonwealth uh, to uh, fix a long-term issue with uh, PFAS, I think it is, in the water out there, uh, fix a long-term issue. So it was a win-win for Western Australia out of this, and we negotiated out of the last Commonwealth Government, as we did many times, to get more and more money out of the last Liberal National Government for Western Australia, uh, which was a great outcome for us. In terms of uh, what it can be used for now, obviously uh, the quarantining requirement for people returning to Australia or from interstate uh, now is no longer in place, except for those people who are COVID positive, who, who um, quarantine at home. Uh, that's, uh, that, so the need for it, for those purposes, is no longer there. So we are currently undertaking a process to find a purpose for the facility. Uh, and that's, going, that's across government looking at that. The advice I've received is um, to, to say to um, homeless people, you must go and live in a facility 40 minutes from the city without any wraparound services, <laughs> In the middle of well, the you bush, can do that. in the middle of the bush, um, where you 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 you, you don't have uh, contact with other people who might be in a similar circumstance to you, uh, is unwise and wouldn't work. Um, anyone can see that. Anyone can see that. No. Yeah, you, you'd have to be a fool not to be able to see. You that. provide those uh, other services. So, so what we're saying, what we're saying. And that's all the advice. Anyone who deals with with uh, people who have who are homeless, who may have uh, who may have uh, mental health issues, who may have substance abuse issues, and the like, knows that. Good. So, um, but what we there. are looking at is how we can use the facility, particularly in terms of the worker shortage, as a transition form of housing for people who might come from overseas, particularly in the building and construction industry, where they might be able to live there for a month or two months with their family or with their children, whatever it might be, as a transition form of housing before they get more permanent housing. Uh, and you go and live there, you might have work that you're transported to by your employer, uh, and, uh, and then you move into a more permanent form of housing after that. This has actually been a common practice historically in Australia. If you go back in history, this is actually quite often how when migrants moved to Australia, that's what they did. They lived in places like this as a transition form of housing. We're just trying to look for a way of properly utilising this facility that we didn't build, but we have a responsibility at least for a year uh, to operate. Supplementary question. A supplementary. Premier, why are you continuing to callously ignore the potential to house rough sleepers and homeless people right now? Order, please. Right now, instead of waiting for your delayed housing program. Order, please. The Premier. So
So, Madam Speaker, we, uh, we opened the new uh, homeless facility on Wellington Street, which now has, from recollection, 64 or so people uh, staying there. Uh, we are building the Common Ground facility in East Perth and one in Mandurah as well. Uh, there's a whole range of other services that are available out there for homeless people. Uh, the reason the Common Ground facility in East Perth is delayed is because of the strength of the economy. That's the reality, uh, because we haven't got enough people to build the, 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 the for the demand that's out there. That's why we're looking for an alternative projects. arrangement. And I actually spoke to a major building company the other day who were very excited by the prospect of the quarantine facility in Bullsbrook being used for these purposes. Uh, it's just We're just trying to come up with a common sense solution to a problem that is not of our making uh, and a facility that wasn't built for us, by us uh, so it can be used for some purpose that is um, of benefit to the people of the state.